The Naranja Academy located in the region of Paldia, where the tradition of the academy is growing stronger and greater. The academy is run by director Clavel who looks after the affairs of the school. Early in the morning, the player is writing his diary in his room. After writing his journal, he comes downstairs all dressed up in uniform and greets his mother. Just then director Clavel visits their house. Upon director's wish he shows him three Pokemon. One is Sprigatito a grass type, Fucoco a fire type, and Quaxley a duckling. The director then asks him to choose one of them. In this recap, the player picks Fucoco as his first Pokemon. Director then tells him that he will see him in the academy. Before going to the academy, his mother gives him a Rotom phone. He comes to the academy where he meets Nimona, the president of the student council and champion rank trainer. Nimona asks him for the battle and she chooses Sprigatito for the match. The player then, picks Fucoco as the opponent. Continuing their battle eventually Sprigatito faints. After the fight, Director and Nimona explain to him about the Pokedex app on the bottom phone. Director leaves him with Nimona and she then takes him to the Poco path where she explains to him how to catch a Pokemon. He catches Lechonk level 3 Pokemon using Fucoco. After that he goes to the seashore, where he sees a mysterious Pokemon lying on the sand and panting badly. He gives it a burger to eat. He feels better and gets to its full form and then heads toward the cave. The player accompanies the Pokemon to the cave. Nimona searches for the player and asks him to come out of the cave but he goes with that mysterious Pokemon. A pack of Houndoom comes to attack the mysterious Pokemon and the player. The mysterious Pokemon saves the player and takes him out of the cave where Nimona waits for him. The mysterious Pokemon is tired again. They then go to the lighthouse to relax where he meets Arvin, the son of the Professor Sada. He gets excited upon seeing that mysterious Pokemon. The player and Nimona get to know the Pokemon is called Karaiden and he is Avern's Pokemon. Arvin challenges the player to a battle. Fucoco fights against Squavit and wins the battle. As a reward, the player gets Avern's Poke Ball. The player then catches Karaiden in his Poke Ball. They then go to the lighthouse top to see the view. After that, he goes to Pokemon Center to heal his Pokemon. Nimona again challenges the player to a fight. During the battle, Nimona terrestrializes her Pokemon Palmy but Fucoco wins the battle. After the battle, they both go to Mesa Goza. There the player fights the team star to help a kid and wins the fight. After coming back to the academy, the player attends his class and meets Arvin and obtains a bag of Stardust. After that, Cassiopeia hacks the player's phone and asks him to join the Operation Starfall against the team star. He agrees to help them in the operation. The player asks Nimona about the champion rank. Nimona then explains to him about the champion rank. The next day, Director Clavel calls the player to his room. The player goes to the director's room where he introduces him to Professor Sada. Professor Sada tells him that she is the owner of Karaiden and asks the player to take care of Karaiden on her behalf. After that, Nimona shows the player his room. The next day director announces a treasure hunt festival. The player decides to take part in the hunt together with Nimona. In the Starfall Street, Nimona, Arvin and the player discuss the treasure hunt when they receive a call from Cassiopeia and brief them about Operation Starfall. Arvin and the player see a cloth and fight it with a shelter and a whopper. They then go together and find the sweet Herba Mystical. The player goes to Pokemon Center and registers his challenge. He seeks out Sun Flora in Artesan and passes the gym test. Then he challenges the gym leader Brassius. He battles with his Crocaller and Brassius chooses Petalil. After an intense battle the player wins the gym badge. After returning, he meets Clive and he tells the player how to fight against the team star. They both go to Skeeter Squad base and fight the Team Star. They both proceed to invade the base and reach there to fight the boss of the Team Star's fire crew Mela. She takes her Torkoal for the fight and the player uses Marill. The player one again wins the battle. He then goes to the next Pokemon Center and registers for the challenge. He takes the Olive Roll test and passes it. He then challenges Katie, the owner of Patisserie Soapberry and leader of Cortando Gym. She chooses Nimble and the player chooses Cloth. The player wins the fight and wins another gym badge. After the battle, the player goes to Pokemon Center where he meets Hassel, one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. After that, the player goes to the other base of the Team Star and fights with Giacomo. He uses Ponyard while the player uses Crocaller and the player wins the battle once again. He then fights the gym trainer Michael and wins another gym badge. Gym leader Lonos challenges him to a match. The player fights with Otsumril and Lono chooses Wastrel. The player wins the challenge. Continuing their way, Arvin and the player fight a Titan Orthworm and defeat it. The player then catches the Orthworm and find another Herba Mystica. After that, the player fights Great Lusk, the Quacking Earth Titan and defeats it. Once again he goes to Pokemon Center and registers for another challenge. 
The gym trainer Hugo challenges him in the battle the player's Atsumril defeats Floatzel. After that the player fights gym leader Kofu. Kofu chooses Vilusa and the player chooses Capsikid. The player defeats the gym leader and wins another batch. After returning from the gym, the player invades another star base and battles with Atticus. The player chooses Knacklestack and Atticus chooses Stuntank. The player wins this battle as well. After that, he goes to Pokemon Center and registers for the challenge for Medali Gym Badge. The player wins his next gym test by ordering secret menu item. He then fights Gumshoes and wins the fight and earns a gym badge. At the next Pokemon Center, the player challenges gym leader Larry. Larry chooses Komala and the player chooses Orthworm. Larry losses and the player gets a Medali Gym Badge. The player then continues his way to the Alfornated Gym where he passes the Emotional Spectrum test to be able to challenge Gym Leader Tulip. In the challenge the player takes out Houndoom against Tulip's Fergaroff. The player wins the battle and gets his 6 Gym Badge. After coming back to the school, Nimona once again challenges him for a battle. The player's Skeleidrge manages to defeat Nimona's Meow's Karata. After the match, he continues his path to Gym Montanarva. The MC Sledge tells him that he has to defeat three challengers in a double Pokemon battle before he can challenge Gym Leader Rhyme. One by one, the player defeats Taz, Lanny and then MC Sledge with Houndoom and Skeleidrge. After Rhyme's live performance, the player challenge her to the battle. The player defeats her by using Houndoom and Skeleidrge against Rhyme's Mimikyu and Bayonet. He wins another gym batch together with a VIP pass to Rhyme's concert. At the Pokemon Center the player meets a small girl Poppy who is also part of Elite Four. After that, the player makes his way to another Team Star's basement where he meets Mr. Harrington, who challenges him to a battle. The player manages to defeat him in the battle. He then enters the base and completes the challenge of defeating 30 Pokemons. He then challenges Ortega of Team Star and defeats him using Skeleidrge. After the battle, Ortega tells the player about the bullying they faced one and a half year ago. He tells him that they were forced to leave the school because of bullying and that's why they formed Team Star. After the battle he continues his way to the river side where he manages to defeat the titans. They once again go to the cave where they find Herba Mystica. They both take the herb as it boosts the metabolism. In the cave, Kara Aiden once again asks for a sandwich from the player. Arvin plays with Mabostif in the cave while Kara Aiden eats the sandwich. There he receives a message from Professor Sada to meet him at the lab. She further tells him that Avern will guide the path to the lab. After that, the player invades another base of Team Star where he completes the challenge by defeating 30 Pokemon. He then challenges Eerie to a fight. He defeats Eerie by taking out Skeleidrge against Toxicroak. The player then continues his way to the Gym Glaciato where he completes Snow Slop Run and then challenges Gym Leader Grusha to a battle. The player manages to defeat Grusha with Skeleidrge against Frostmoth and Beatrix. He finally gets all the Gym batches and qualifies for the Pokemon League Champion Assessment Test. For the first part of assessment he has to pass the interview. Rika takes his interview in which he asks the player about the gym batches and details of his fight against Grusha. He passes the test and then proceeds for elite test where he has to defeat all four elite champions. The player defeats Rika, Poppy, Larry and Hassel and qualifies for the final trial. In the final trials he fights against Gita and defeat her by taking out Skeleidrge and Belibolt against Gita's Aspathrafair and Glimora. Gita congratulates him on becoming a Pokemon champion. The player meets up with Nimona who tells him that she will be waiting for him at Mesagoza Plaza for their first match as equal champions. After that, the player meets up with Clive who reveals his true identity as Director Clavel. He then tests him against a battle to test his abilities. The player defeat him in the battle. Clavel then tells him that he will be able to defeat the big boss in Cassiopeia. He then continues his way to the lab as instructed by Professor Sada and meets Arvin there. Arvin reveals that Professor Sada is his mother. Professor Sada leaves a video message for them and gives them the task of getting Scarlet Book to the Area Zero. Arvin tell the player that Area Zero is in place and it is H place where Mabostif got injured. But he decides to tag along with the player to the place. Before continuing their journey they fight off each other. The player wins the battle against Arvin. Arvin then tells the player to gather some allies before going to the Area Zero. The player then returns back to the school where he comes to know that Cassiopeia true identity is Penny. He manages to defeat Penny with Satitan against Umbreon. Penny then tells that he will take responsibility for Team Star's action. Director gives them all community service at Star Training Center as a punishment and tells them that they can join the Academy again. Penny tells that he will help the player whenever he needs his help and tells the player that he is good with machines and hacking into the systems. Back at Mesagoza Plaza, Nimona challenges the player to a fight. The player takes out Belibolt and defeats Meowskarata. Nimona congratulates him on his win.
After that he along with Nimona, Penny and Arvin arrives at Gate Zero where Professor Sada welcomes them. She then asks them to follow Great Crater of Paldea using elevator. They then use Karaiden to glide in the sky and lands in the Area Zero. After that, they all go to the research station and the player manages to disable one of the locks of Zero Labs. All of them go through the fields and mountains. After that, the player fights Gogot and beats it. They then reach another lab station where the player disables one more lock of the lab station. They then discover another lab station where the player and Arvin fight an ancient Pokemon. The player uses Skeliderge and Arvin uses Mabostif. Ancient Pokemon soon faints. They enter the research lab and disable another lock of the lab. Following the path, they reach a waterfall and cave full of crystals. After that, they reach another research lab with a lot of crystals. The very last lock is disabled as well. They then reach the deepest part of the cave and see a structure swollen up by the crystal. They see the zero labs and open its gate. They all take out their Pokemons to fight against the dangerous Pokemon they may face. Another Karaiden appears and enters the Zero Lab. Many Pokemons come out of the Zero Labs and the player with Skelidrich, Nimona with Lycanroc fights with them and defeats them. The player then enters the Zero Labs and meets Professor Sada. He gets to know that she is not the real Professor Sada. After the revelation, they both take the elevator and the person pretending to be Professor Sada explains to him about the time machine. Then she challenges him for a battle and takes out her Slither Wing. The player chooses his Skelidrich. Slither Wing uses Torch Song and Skelidrich uses Torch Song as well. Slither Wing uses Zen Headbutt but Skelidrich manages avoids it. Skelidrich then uses Torch Song and Slither Wings faints. Then she sends Brute Bonnet out and Skelidrich uses a flamethrower. Brute Bonnet faints and Professor Sada then sends Sandy Shocks and it uses Earth Power and Skelidrich loses. Then both of them take out Karaiden who face each other in an intense battle. The player manages to win the battles. After the battle the imposter travels back in the time machine. Arvin finally gets to know the truth about his mother. All four of them then continue their way back to the academy. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more epic videos. We will see you at the next one.